Our bold kingdom presents the River Otter. <laughs> Hi there! My name's Trixie, and I'm a River Otter. I'm the largest member of the Weasel family, built for life spent mostly in the water. My webbed feet work like little flippers to help me swim fast, and I can hold my breath for up to eight minutes. My fur is also designed to be waterproof. The hair closest to my skin is short, thick, and very soft. But the longer hairs growing over it are specially designed so that the water runs right off of it. This keeps the thicker layers of my fur completely dry. This special fur coat also lets us be able to swim in really cold water, even during the winter, as it helps to keep me nice and warm. My long, flexible body lets me get into all kinds of tight spaces along the bottoms of lakes and rivers, which helps me catch all those yummy fish, frogs, and other small slippery critters. <laughs> when we aren't catching food, though, we love to play. I'll grab sticks and rocks I find in the water and use them as toys. <laughs> and sometimes I'll even use the muddy bank of the river like a water slide. Not only are these games a lot of fun, but they serve as good hunting practice and are a great bonding opportunity with friends. While I usually live by myself or with a buddy, we river otters frequently come together in larger groups to socialize and play. The more the merrier after all. Oftentimes people get us mixed up with sea otters. While in a lot of ways we look pretty similar, there's lots of things that make us different too. Sea otters are much bigger than us. While a river otter like me usually weighs no more than 60 pounds, a sea otter can weigh as much as 100 pounds. We also have very different teeth for our very different diets. River otters like me have lots of sharp, longer teeth for catching slippery fish and ripping our food into smaller pieces to swallow. Sea otters, though, eat lots of crabs and shellfish like clams and oysters, so their teeth are shorter and flatter to be better at crushing and crunching. Sea otter fur is also very different from mine, being much thicker and longer. Also, since they spend most of their time floating on their backs after diving for food, their tails are much shorter and thicker. My longer tail works like a rudder to help me swim quickly through the water for my more of lifestyle than our marine cousins. <laughs> For most of the year, I'm largely nocturnal, only really becoming active as the sun starts to go down. However, winter changes things quite a bit. When cold weather comes around, I become diurnal, meaning I'm active during the day. Lots of the types of prey I normally hunt become extremely hard to find, either because they're hibernating or because they've gone somewhere else until the weather warms up. One of the few critters that stays behind during the winter are crayfish, a type of shrimp-like crustacean. These guys actually thrive in cold water, making them very plentiful that time of year. If the rivers and lakes we fish from become frozen over, I'm very good at finding cracks and weak spots in the ice that I can use to dive into the water. We build special burrows into the banks of rivers and lakes as a place to sleep and also to raise our babies. Both the entrance and exit of this burrow are underwater, making it difficult for predators to reach. Otter moms will have their babies in these burrows to keep them safe. When they're first born, otter pups are completely blind and have no teeth, making them completely reliant on me to look after them and keep them safe. For their first two months of life, my babies will depend entirely on my milk. Even as they start leaving the den to explore and try different foods, they'll still nurse for me for at least another month. My little ones are natural-born swimmers, but even so, they're often a bit shy about getting into the water. <laughs> Some encouragement for me, though, is usually enough to help them feel brave enough to take that first swim. 
I hope you learned lots of fun new things about us river otters. It was great getting to share this time with you guys and showing you all the neat ways we contribute to our amazing wild kingdom.